Hey, I'm Virginia Franco, and today I want to show you how you can incorporate some design elements that are appealing to readers, but that can also get through applicant tracking software systems. Uh, a lot of people talk about how you shouldn't include design elements into your resume because ATS can't read anything in text boxes and the like, um, which is absolutely true. But there is a way to do it using Microsoft Word that appeals to both the both human beings and the bots. So I'm going to show you how. Here is the top part of a resume sample. Um, what I'm going to do is I want to take this uh, section, uh, sort of the subheadline, and make it into a graphic image using SmartArt. So what I'm going to do is move my cursor here and I'm going to go into insert in Word and click on smart art. Now you see that there's lots of different options, list, price, uh, process, cycle, hierarchy, all these ways to make super cute and cool uh, graphic images. Um, I'm going to pick a simple one. I guess let's go with sh basic chevron, which is, you know, a bunch of chevron arrows. So you click on the box, you click on OK. Um, and then what it does is it selects colors that sort of work with the color scheme you already have. Um, I don't really love how flat this graphic is, so I can change it around by clicking on this top section um, go with this one because it's a little 3D-ish. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to start typing in the text that I want to include in the chevrons. So it needs to read what platforms, partnerships, brands and products. Um, so that's it for that. Oh, the other thing I want to do before I forget is I'm going to highlight the text as I want the, the um, font to be the same as what I was using on my resume. So you highlight it, go back to home and you go back to your fonts. Um, this was this TW Sen and I'm going to change the size to be more reflective of what else was on this. Um, Okay, so that part is done, but as you can see now, this is a huge uh, graphic. We don't need it to be nearly this big. The first thing I do is I click on this little box, which is layout options, and I like to do text wrapping because that lets you move the graphic around however you see fit. So click on the square button, um, and you can see that I can now take this. So I'm going to click on X to close it out. Um, and then you're going to close it and make it a little smaller just by dragging the um, dot up. And now I can take this and I can move it all over the place, but I'll leave it right there. Okay. Um, now you see that you've got the graphic imagery and then you also have the text uh, language. Obviously for human beings, it looks silly to have both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this text and I'm going to hide it from the document. Um, so I bold it. I might make it a little bit smaller, Whoop. just so it doesn't take up as much room. Less, that much room. Let's do that. Um, and then I'm going to make it in white font or white color. So as you can see now, the document can be read. The graphic design is there. Um, so the human can see it. But when you submit your resume online, the language of the text is still in there. So software can pick it up and score the keywords accordingly. Um, so this is something that I love. I love smart art. Um, it's just an easy way to get some graphic elements in there that are eye catching, um, but you could still use it when applying online.